Air Canada announced that, in light of the current pandemic and increasingly low demand for flights, the airline will be suspending some flights to some destinations from January 24 until April 30, 2022. Flights to the following destinations will be affected, Antigua, Aruba, Samana, Curaçao, Exuma, Grenada, Porto Plata, Santo Domingo, Bermuda, Grand Cayman, Havana, St. Vincent and the Grenadines, St. Martin slash St. Martin, and St. Kitts and Nevis. The press release notes that to help ensure that Canadians are not stranded abroad, Air Canada plans to operate a number of one-way commercial flights from affected destinations in order to return customers at the suspended destinations to Canada. Any travelers affected by the temporary suspension of the above-listed destinations will be issued a full refund. Our team will be contacting any impacted customers and processing refunds in order of departure date. Eligible customers will receive an invoice as confirmation of their refund once it has been issued. Please note that existing travel restrictions, including providing proof of vaccination and of a negative COVID-19 test result before boarding an international flight bound for Canada, are still in effect. It is your responsibility to ensure that you, and any child traveling with you, have all the valid travel documents required for re-entry into Canada. Please visit the Government of Canada website for more details. Air Canada is not the only Canadian airline finding it difficult to fill flights due to the rapid spread of the Omicron variant and shrinking demand for travel. Just a few days ago, WestJet cancelled 15% of its flights. WestJet announced via Twitter that it would be cancelling flights because of the COVID-19 variant Omicron. The tweet stated that, We have made the difficult decision to consolidate approximately 15% of scheduled flights through to January 31, 2022, due to the accelerating impact of Omicron. In a follow-up press release, Harry Taylor, WestJet, interim president and CEO stated that over the past 72 hours, we have seen a significant increase in delays and cancellations impacting our business. As we work to stabilize our operation to best serve our guests, we understand this has been immensely challenging and frustrating and for that we apologize.